All right, kitties, it is that time again. It is world tournament time. So today, I'm going to kind of, uh, we'll, we'll just quickly run through uh, the world tournament. I'll show you guys the strategy I'm using. Uh, I am aiming for top 200 this time. That, that's what your boy would really like. Uh, the rewards, pretty good. Uh, I, I think we are able to get an extra gold SSR ticket, it looks like. Uh, like, I think there is, a nut, like, an additional summon we'll be able to do on that World Tournament banner. That's cool. Uh, TN is still the local reward. Nothing's changed there. Uh, it is Mighty Mask and Great Sandman for the actual ranking rewards. Uh, again, top, like, 500 and up gets so many orbs. It's insane. Top 1,000 gets you orbs. Uh, that's about it for the ranking rewards. Uh, I will probably hop in and do... Uh, a summon video on the Dragon Ball banner and the, you know, world summon uh, ticket banner very, very soon here. We'll take an LR Broly. So, uh, by the way, the friend system update, absolutely shitting on this new world tournament. I have, like, not even had to refresh once. Every single time I hop in, immediately on the top of the friends list, it's like four or five Broly's. As you guys can see, I've set my Broly set. Anyone else, you know, who happens to find me, whatever, can go ahead and use that Broly to help dominate in the World Tournament. So, World Tournament is 100 times easier with the Friend System update. The LR Broly's just never stop coming. Now, if we take a look at this right here. This is the squad I'm going with for this World Tournament. Uh, Turla size the leader. He gives the 150% buff to LR Broly. Uh, LR Majin Vegeta is only getting a 50% buff, but it's not really a big deal. Unless we go up against a tech-type unit. Uh, you know, LR Goku Black or something like that. I'm bringing LR Ginyu. Mainly just for uh, his team cost. And he also does give three key. Which is helpful, obviously, for the LRs. Uh, and Jacko and Chaozu have a 100% chance to stun the enemy. 100, again, 100% chance they stun these fuckers when the battle starts. So, they're very, very helpful. Now, one thing that does happen is... The lower your team cost, the less points you will get uh, because you're going to be fighting teams that don't have, like, you know, a, a high team cost as well. Like, you get more points for beating a team full of LRs than you would get for beating a team full of, like, you know, SR cards, right? So, that's one reason I'm using LR Ginyu there is, you know, he's giving three key and only, like, what, 7,777 attack. Nothing crazy, but his team cost is a lot higher than a unit like uh, SCR Rose Goku Black, who I might consider for that spot as well. Uh, pretty bad rotation right here, but again, Jacko is just going to completely block them from attacking for us. Uh, I will actually aim my attacks at LR Majin Vegeta. Uh, LR Majin Vegeta on the revived warrior team is not so bad. Uh, LR Majin Vegeta, when I whenever you fight a pure Saiyan team, though, that fucker. He'll take four attacks from LR Broly before you, he goes down. Very annoying prick sometimes. Uh, okay, so... Jacko, Chaozu, you know, they get the 100% stuns. We know what they're capable of doing. Uh, I try my best to... Hmm, here. Uh, I don't want to get... Okay, that's perfect, that's perfect. Uh, okay, so... Jacko and Chaozu, you know, they get that 100% stun. But... For my strategy for the World Tournament, I do not risk it. You would think, oh, look at little bitch-ass Chaozu right there. He's going to do nothing. No, I never risk it. I do not allow myself to get touched unless I would do something like this. We'll pop a King Yama, which will reduce damage by 50%. Even if Chaozu supers, at, at reducing damage by 50%, we should be good. LR Broly would survive. Uh, we won't die. I don't take any normal hits, no matter what, while I'm going through the World Tournament. No questions asked. I don't ever trust any hit at all. Never risk it. That's basically my mantra as I'm going through the uh, World Tournament here. If it's a rotation without Jack or Chaozu, I'll pop a Ghost Usher. I'll use a King Yama or a Double King Yama, depending on what it is. Obviously, if it's like an LR Broly... Uh, you gotta use a Ghost Usher right there, because LR Broly, if he supers, he's hitting the whole fucking team, which is, uh, quite annoying, and pretty much means you're fu you're fucked, <laughs> you're done, so, that's why I try and make sure to Ghost Usher, 
uh, whenever Broly is actually going to get a hit in. Uh, again, LR Ginyu is here mainly for his team cost and giving key. Now, LR Cell, I wish I could awaken my LR Cell and use him. But as of right now, it, it's not like I have a ton of dupes for him anyway. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I did do an initial uh, summoning stream. Uh, I was able... Okay, let's see. That's a golden freeze. Let's go ahead and pop a ghost usher right there. Uh, I was able to get one copy of LR Cell. But without a ton of orbs, maybe he might struggle sometimes against like an LR Broly, for example. I think a, like a rainbow LR Cell... Or an LR cell with one or two dupes. Like, you know, 65% uh, and up LR cell is going to be nearly as good as LR Broly in here. At next World Tournament, I'm going to be using the same team. Except I'll replace uh, LR Ginyu with LR cell. I can't wait to do that. But obviously, uh, not only do I need to get the Battlefield medals to awaken him. I still want to get a couple more copies of the card. Uh, I probably will do another... Uh, summoning stream after the world tournament is done uh, but I I'm just not gonna have time also with this team a lot of times uh, we're not gonna have the necessary key but that's why I have the fruit of the tree might and the shoes just whatever they both give three key and then I just make sure you know LR Broly gets that 12 key super uh, I make sure that LR Majin Vegeta if necessary gets his 18 key super it's situational though it's not like every single time you know, I need to make sure LR Majin Vegeta gets his 18p super. I had, like, 600 plus of all the essential items. You know, Fruit of the Tree of Might, Shoe, uh, Ghost Usher and stuff. So, uh, I'm not too concerned. I should be able to make it through the entirety of the tournament. Even grinding, you know, pretty much, you know, to the detriment of, like, no sleeping type shit. Uh, and should still be able to have some uh, leftover Ghost Ushers and stuff. Uh, even after the tournament is completed now i actually want to check i'm sure we probably could find an lr cell i, I would be curious to see uh how effective lr cell would be uh we probably wouldn't be able to find an lr cell with dupes i don't know let's see let's see let me go ahead and clear it out except for physical types uh omega there's an lr cell right there let's go ahead and bring him let's bring him what percentage is he in the dupe system uh, 55. Okay, so no dupes, but I'm curious, right? I want to see how good our boy... Ooh, a bonus team. Perfect uh, time to test out our boy LR Cell. Mm, okay, I'm going to make sure that we actually miss uh, LR Majin Vegeta. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll miss LR Majin Vegeta Super on this first turn, and we'll have LR Cell go ahead and get it. So we'll do this, this. Okay, so... Let's just, I guess, get some physical type orbs prepared for our boy LR Cell. So, because of the fact that Cell gets 10% uh, attack for every, like, enemy that is on the field, <laughs> he's probably going to be very, very good uh, in terms of damage dealt. So, I I I'm very curious. I, I, I am, like very very curious again to see oh wait whoops i just ah uh, fuck i i i got too antsy in the pantsy there and he did i did his 18 key super oh well you know what <laughs> i've already been grinding for eight hours straight can you tell uh his attack set was almost a million there that's pretty good in the world tournament without a uh whatchamacallit without even like a double leader skill. I'm quite impressed by that. All right, now we get the second LR Ginyu Super. Yes, 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 yes. I, I guess <laughs> it's a good thing I'm going up against uh, this little bonus team since I'm dicking around so much, right? It, it's not like there's ever any real danger, though, uh, when going through uh, the World Tournament at this stage. Like, it's not really... It, it, it's just occasionally, like... You'll get caught on a rotation without Jacko or Chiaotzu. And you just have to not be scared to pop that item. That's how it is. Like, you can easily go through the days-long world tournament. Just popping items whenever you're about to get hit. And you should have a, a good enough supply of items to make it through. Maybe for the global world tournament, uh, you're going to have to be a little bit more defensive, I think. Because the global world tournament is just it's so damn long. That, like, if you're really playing it every second... Like, you probably would 
run out of items even if you had you know 600 plus of all the essentials uh so that's kind of a uh, that's another good thing a, a positive marker for the japanese version is we don't have these fucking marathon tournaments man just a, a tournament that's you know I, I think a shade like under 48 hours is not that bad you know just basically a quick little weekend thing uh is there another lr cell there there is okay yeah let me <laughs> let me try and get this off uh, this guy, again, only one dupe. Hmm, looks like that cell banner has been hitting people over the head, because I am a pretty high rank, as you guys can see. I'm, you know, rank 590. Uh, cell's in the second rotation, okay. So, usually after a banner drops like this, you know, I'm not the only one that's got, like, rainbow cards at this stage. The only card, like, Dokkan Fest card, that I, I haven't seen a lot of rainbowed is Future Gohan. I know I have Future Gohan Rainbowed. I know D Free has Future Gohan Rainbowed. Outside of that, though, I haven't really seen uh, Future Gohan like Rainbowed on my friends list, which is odd considering uh, he had a really good banner. Like I would have thought for sure uh, people would have been summoning on Future Gohan's banner to get you know copies of Tech Vegito Blue as well as our boy uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Now, that's one reason why I decided to go so deep on that banner. I probably would not have rainbowed Future Gohan, I don't think, um, if it wasn't for the fact that, like, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock and uh, Tech Vegito Blue were also there. Uh, I was, you know, I, I would have been happy probably with, like, one or two copies of Future Gohan. It's always the biggest gap, like, in dupes. You get that first dupe, and it's, a, like, a huge power buff opening up the bottom right path. Uh, but after that, it's it's smaller uh, increases from the other paths and the bottom right path. But the, like getting that first dupe really dramatically increases like the power of a unit. So uh, if you're ever able to go ahead and grab that uh, first dupe, you know usually it's a good uh, idea to go ahead and try that. Uh, an LR cell, and of course now we don't see an LR cell. Huh? Oh no, there is one right here. Uh, is this another? Yeah, that's a. 55%. Okay, whatever. No biggie. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna make sure... A Patara team, huh? Uh, I'm gonna make sure to try and get this uh, super attack with LR Cell here before we finish up. Because I want to see how much damage he's going to do to the enemy field. I'm actually not sure. Uh, but, I mean, it's not really that important because looks like LR Broly friends are going to be easier than ever to find. Uh, okay, so Cell looking pretty good. Uh, again, we don't want him to get uh, the 18 key super. I was a fucking goof. I knew that before, but I'm, you know, sometimes uh, I'm a funny guy. What can I say? All right, so we'll, yeah, we can go ahead and pop a shoe. Uh, that's not going to cause Cell to get his 18 key. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and pop a Ghost Usher as well, uh, just to, you know, ensure that we're not taking any damage. Uh, I don't think. I bet Broly and Cell will probably clear the field combined. All right, 700,000. That's pretty good. Him getting that extra 10% from all these fuckers. So let's see how much damage. Okay, a million. Hard to tell if they're dead or not. We'll see after this how many survive. Again, I am only on the uh, Turles lead. So that's a 50% leader skill. So LR Goku Black survive. LR Vegito survive. LR Goku Black survive. Super Vegito survive. Murder the monster. Basically, the whole team survived with a little bit of health, huh? But that is only a LR Cell with no dupes in him right there. So had LR Cell had dupes in there, he would have cleared all of those fuckers except for LR Vegito Blue. So that was a good enough test for me. So what that tells me is that LR Cell is definitely strong enough to clear the field. You're just going to need dupes. So... LR Broly, I think, is still probably a superior uh, AoE unit uh, in the World Tournament because he does have that guaranteed second super, which is so fucking big. But Cell is capable of getting it done. Uh, gonna need a dupe or two to, for him to really shine, though. But all right, guys, so that will do it for this. I'm gonna keep grinding. I'm gonna try and get that top 100. Thanks for watching. Jacko and Chao Tzu, do not forget, and I'll catch y'all next time.